Welcome back to the Bigfoot Truck Camper Renovation Series. In this episode, we need to build a spot to put our spare tire, which is going to be under the back of this camper. We're going to extend our hitch so we can tow the Jeep. So our hitch will need to be extended as much as the spare tire, which is a 41 inch tire. Instead of bracing it with chains, like you see a lot of them have, I'm going to do a triple receiver hitch, do an extra receiver on each side and box it all in. Then my spare can sit on that and then we'll have that hitch extension that we need. And the uh, rear bumper on the truck, it sort of limits me getting the tire in close to the frame. So I'm taking the rear bumper off. Um, I'll have to take the rear bumper off, put a new support across for the rear tie downs of the camper. And that can be our temporary bumper, I guess. Probably just an extra piece of square tubing. I have a 20 foot length of, uh, of two inch square tubing that I'm gonna make my hitch extensions out of. So we can run another piece of that across the back probably and uh, redo our tie downs to that. Eliminate the bumper so the tire can sl slide in a little more. So then we don't need to extend back as far because it's gonna be really far. So stay tuned, we'll get it done. So we'll just need to deal with the wires that go to the uh, so the license plate lights, we'll get that dealt with and I can slide this thing right off. I think I'm going to raise the tire up two more inches so it can sit in a little bit farther. There's a couple uh, braces for the hitch that stop it from being all the way forward. So if I bring it up a bit, I can get it past most of those braces and um, then I don't need to hitch that far back. The pin can even be under the tire. So if I move the tire head two inches, I can bring the hitch in four plus that two. So I can bring, bring the hitch in about six more inches. And uh, then I just need to figure out my side supports. So math is starting to work. And if I bring off, come off the outside of the frame, I'll be good to support the tire. I can put my uh, other tubing under the outside edge of the frame and then plate it down for support. So I'm just kind of roughing in the pieces for my uh, spare tire carrier design here and um, hitch extension, of course. So this is the hitch extension I had on the truck. When I took my measurements, I built this crosser that I've tacked in place right now, made sure it was nice and straight on there. Then um, these pieces are gonna fit into receivers that stick past the back support here. I haven't put the receivers on the truck yet. My concern is um, it's all gonna be built as one piece. They need to slide in together. So, I'm not really sure, like they gotta be perfectly straight to each other. So I do have concerns that it's gonna not slide in and out well. I'm gonna weld this all together and keep everything as square as I can and we'll see what it does. I'm probably just gonna tack it all and then um, if I need to make some adjustments, I can. Yeah, so the plan is, as you can see, this square tubing is on top of the hitch. These ones are going to be welded up to the end of that. And then these are up and then this will be sitting on top. I'll put a little, uh, another piece welded to connect these together. They're not actually gonna weld to the side of this. I'll build that up. You know, if I can do it all one piece and slide it in and out, that's great. I think by building it this way, I'm gonna build this all together and then I'll slide my um, receivers on the truck and put them into place with this installed and that way I can get them lined up nicely so hopefully it all works out we'll see but I'm gonna uh, tack it all together and see what we end up with okay so I have this uh, I flipped this thing upside down so I can weld these side pieces on I've uh, shimmed it up a bit so I can be sure that I'm level I'll need to adjust just a little bit but we'll try and get as level as we can so these receivers are the same and I got this uh, 
90 degree magnet in there so I'll try and weld them on so they're all parallel with each other get it as straight as I possibly can I don't have a proper welding table maybe when I grow up maybe when I'm 60 I'll be all set up like that but right now I do it on the floor that's the most level thing I have and we'll get some tacks in there and then double triple check that everything's nice and straight so the uh, hitch extension slash tire carrier is tacked together and I placed it on the tire to give me the idea of how my rough uh, measurements kind of support the tire. But I think it should sit somewhere around there. I'm hoping the tire can get in that close. It's going to be close to that. If not, the tire will be out just a little bit. But I think it was around there. So I've just tacked all the joints in case I need to tweak things a little bit. But that looks like it's going to work as far as the tire goes. Um, I haven't welded up here yet. I haven't put a connector in or attached it to the uh, actual receiver. Just in case I need to tweak things a little bit before I weld. I want to get the other outside receivers mounted on the truck first. I'm going to put this in place and then put those receivers in place so I can get everything nice and straight. So everything slides out, in and out easily. So I have my mounts uh, all kind of tacked in place here. As far as the two outer mounts. And this assembly is kind of all tacked together. Nothing's really welded solid, solid yet. So I've just added a couple pieces of metal here to hold these things. I was trying to figure out how I can mount them. Where I could still maybe tweak them a little bit. And not have them too solid yet in case I need to... And change the angles a little bit having all three receivers slide in and out at the same time is kind of a a bit of a challenge so they don't bind but um, I kind of have them tacked there now they're pretty solid and uh, it's looking pretty good I can slide this thing in and out I'll try taking it right out I haven't tried yet the center one is really tight it has been originally so I have to clean it up a little bit But yeah, seems to slide pretty good and I haven't really even cleaned anything. So I'm going to clean up all these receivers and get any burrs off of them. You can see they're rubbing a little bit in the middle. But um, it looks pretty good. I'm kind of feeling confident enough that I could finish the welds on there. I'll have everything in place when I weld it so it doesn't move around too much. But... There it goes. Still gonna drill the holes for these ones once everything's all done and welded. I'll drill those holes. Make sure the pins slide in and out nice. But uh, yeah, that seems like a success so far. I think I'm gonna do a, a solid plate. I'll weld onto here and then bolt it into a couple holes up here just to cover that in and give it some uh, more strength. These are not very strong, so it's just kind of holding it in place for now and then adding that one on the other side should should provide the strength we need. So I've got my triple hitches in place. Everything's sliding in and out nice now. Um, these uh, outside receivers are just welded to the uh, frame. Not super strong, but um, that's about as good as I can attach them like that. And then I've cut these uh, 1 8 I believe, steel plates that I am going to bolt to the frame here, just two half inch bolts, and I'm going to weld that along there just to give it a little extra bracing. There isn't a lot of load on these uh, outer receivers. They're just to, instead of having chains, I'm doing the receiver thing. To me, it looks a little better and gives me a little bit more weight support for my, uh, my hitch and my spare tire. So I'm just going to give those a weld on there to the hitches, run one bead down there, and then I think that's good for uh, the attachment of these things. And I'll have to get my arm in there and uh, put a couple bolts through, some nuts on there, and we'll be good to go. Let's do three tacks to hold it in place, and then I'll uh, weld everything in between. So there we go, a couple bolts and some paint and uh, we should be good there. I could 
put a triangle in there and make it really strong, but I don't think it's really necessary. I'm not, it's not like this is a trailer hitch that works on its own. It's just for stability. So I'm happy with that. And uh, we'll put some paint on it and make it look finished. There we go, I got those bolted on. I know I said I wasn't gonna brace it anymore, but I did make some brackets that are gonna weld up the side across the top and up this corner and down there. So I'll weld those on next. Yeah, so I know I said that I'd be fine just welding these to the to the existing hitch frame and then putting this plate on the outside, welding it to the hitch and bolting it to the frame. But it looks a little unfinished to me and um, I just want to add another plate. So I cut out these plates. They're going to sit over top of the frame or the hitch mount. But up to this plate that comes down that's bolted to the frame, I'm going to weld the corner there. Weld this around the hitch and along this uh, back uh, hitch plate. And um, yeah, it'll look a little more finished and add even more strength. So I'm just, I have the tow bar in there, just holding everything in place. I don't want anything to tweak a little bit. So we'll get those welded in place and then uh, I think we'll be ready to install the tow bar and test the tire on it. All right, we got uh, that plate welded on. So, welded up the corner, around the hitch, welded it to this hitch mount. So, uh, those are pretty solid now. Welded underneath, bolted there, welded on that plate. So, uh, you could tow a vehicle off of that even though that wasn't my intention. It's only stability. So, we'll get the other side done. And then that'll be it for uh, hitch mounting on the truck. So, I'll show you guys what it takes to remove this uh, spare tire and spare tire mount. Pretty simple procedure really. So we have a couple bolts here that hold the spare tire from bouncing. I'll just remove those. I'll remove the safety chains while I'm down here. I've already unthreaded them so they're just a quick link. I'll remove this Hitch pin on down here because we're taking the whole thing off. So the ratchet strap that holds it tight to the frame, we release that. And then the whole spare tire can come out. And there it is. As far as the hitch goes, I've pulled the three pins from the three receivers and uh, really the easiest way is to stand in the middle of it then you can hold it up but even without I can just pull it out. There we have it. No receiver hitch, no spare tire mount. Everything just unplugs when we don't want it there. I would think we'd want it there most of the time but uh, comes off. If ever uh, the hitches tend to bind, I bolted the center section in separately so I can undo those two bolts and then only the two outsides will be rigidly together and the center one can slide out on its own if they are binding or something. If I was to tweak it a bit, just a little bit of extra insurance there. All right, so I have the spare tire carrier on the ground here. I'm going to show you what it takes to get that spare tire carrier mounted back up on the truck and get the spare tire installed on top of it. So easiest just to stand in the middle of it here when you're putting it on. And then it picks up and balances nice. You can walk up with it, start the center one first, and then wiggle the other one. The tricky part is getting out. Now I'll just get my pins and uh, 
in the hitch in place. So I've put the clips on the three safety pins, hooked up the chains in a crisscross, and tightened up the quick links. So now we'll get the spare and put it in place. This is the hardest part of the task, but it's not too bad. I put it the outside of the rim down so the bolts, uh, the bolt face is closer to the uh, hitch so the bolts aren't so long. I just lean it up against there and give it a little lift and a push. This tire, as you saw in our last video of the Stazworks video, or if you didn't see it, go and watch it, weighs 200 pounds, basically 199 point something. So, just get her up tight against the frame. About centered. Then uh, take my ratchet strap, hook it on the hook point I've welded to the back of the hitch. Snug it in tight to the frame. And lock her down. Now just to put the bolts in. So I can just drop down the bolts from the top. And head back underneath. All right, so I just put my little bar across. And the uh, bolt stops it from bouncing up and down and um, I guess adds a little bit, another step to removing it so it's not as easy if someone decided they wanted it more than I do. I may add a lock to it also, probably be a good idea. So there it is, spare tire and hitch extension installed. Pretty simple really to take it on and off, uh, quick and easy, and she's pretty solid. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out when we post our next project. Today we are building the support in the bed of the truck that the camper's gonna sit on. So now that we have the super singles on the truck, um, we did a rough measurement outside to outside and it looks like we're like maybe a little bit too wide. I might as well make some spacers and space those jacks out a little bit more while I'm at it. Look at that. We got uh, half an inch to spare. Maybe three quarters of an inch to spare. So now that it's in the truck, we need to fashion down some tie downs. Should work perfect and easy.